Good morning. It is Eric Arnold back in the politics barn. It's Monday, uh, November 9th, probably about, I don't know, 10 in the morning. Um, I have what I think is a relatively important edition here for you today. And we're going to talk about votes that are missing here in Pennsylvania. I think they're Trump votes myself, but you know they're missing, so it's kind of hard to tell exactly who they're missing from. Um, I think they're missing. Uh, let me show you what I found, and you can tell. You know, you can make up your own mind whether it's significant or not. Um, over the past several days, several days, few days, over the weekend, I've been digging into the results that have been published so far by Berks County. That's uh, where the sports barn's located here in Berks County, Pennsylvania, key swing state of this uh, contested election. And I'm trying to figure out, you know, does Trump's argument make sense? Um, did he win? Did he lose? Did he get cheated? Uh, is he going to win a recount? I don't know. So this is what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I found a couple interesting things, and I'm pretty familiar with the county. I'm pretty familiar with the voting patterns in the county. Uh, I've looked at the data before, so now I got a whole new set of data to play with, uh, the 2020 data, and I'm matching it up against the 16 data and trying to figure out what happened. And, you know, basically what happened, I think, is that Trump was able to drive out some more Trump voters out of the country, the rural counties, the rural townships, the rural precincts. But not that many more. He got more, but not that many more. And then also in the cities, in the cities, Trump lost by less than he a normal Republican would lose by. Uh, uh, it was especially pronounced here in Reading. Um, Reading is a uh, pretty heavily Latino, and you know Trump did significantly better in 20 than he did in 16 in Reading, uh, which was, I thought, interesting. You know, all that stuff about, oh, Donald Trump's making inroads in the minority community, you know, which everybody went, too, he's a racist. Well, that's a bunch of bullshit. I don't think so, man. I think it's all true uh, because, you know, the numbers backed it up. Now, well, the bad news where Donald Trump got absolutely killed was in the, uh, the suburbs, the uh, suburb people. Uh, they just turned on him, uh, uh, or they came out of the woodwork. And if they didn't vote in 16, well, they were there to, uh, this cycle. And uh, I think the bottom line is Trump did underperform in Pennsylvania what he did in 16. I'm reasonably comfortable with that. Um, but uh, I'm not sure of it because, like I said, he did better in the cities and that's where the contests are going on right now in Philadelphia and Pittsburgh. So I don't know, you know, the, uh, all those suburban people that he lost, the soccer moms, I assume, that he, uh, those were probably your shy Trump voters in 16. Well, they weren't, they, they flipped on him in 20. So he lost all them. Does that offset the gains that he made in the city? Alleged gains because we're not sure what's being counted in the city. You know, that's that's under, I don't know. But let me show you what I found here in Berks County where I'm saying, okay, that's a mistake. These are clear mistakes. I don't know whether it's a malicious error or it's just, oops. But you tell me how this is anything other than a mistake. All right, so we have Exeter Eight, the eighth precinct in Exeter Township. Uh, that is, oh, where is that? That's over there where the Exeter Golf Course used to be. Uh, it's a little uh, east of St. Lawrence. Uh, the vote over in Stonersville. Stonersville, uh, to my knowledge, uh, it has no particular connection to marijuana. I think it was called Stonersville probably long before they even discovered marijuana. So that's, it's a suburban kind of neighborhood. There's some, some farms over there, but mostly you're talking housing developments and uh, suburban people. So normally 
the turnout in Exeter 8 is in the upper 70s. Uh, really, in Berks County, in the suburban and rural townships, that's pretty much what you're looking at. Somewhere between 70 to upper, you know, 70, 80% turnout. In the cities, much less. Uh, Reading, you know, 40%, maybe 50 if you're lucky. Um, they, they, they don't turn out in the city. Uh, but e, e, the further, you know, up the eco, social, whatever uh, food chain you get, the more turnout you get. So uh, Exeter 8, your typical suburb type uh, precinct, you get high turnout over there. So 2008, 79, 2012, 78.3, 2016, 79.4, 2020, 46, 46? Okay, that's wrong. <laughs> There's no way. There's just no way. There's no way that all of a sudden just half the voters in one particular little precinct, while all the other precincts all around it, are all voting at 70, 80% that everybody in Stonersville went, yeah, you know what, screw this election. You know, we're just not voting. We're, we're going to take a Stonerville uh, a pledge. Screw them both and we're not voting. That didn't happen. There's no way that happened. So the actual numbers here, you know, it's, it's a, it's a 50, it's one of these typical 50, 50 type places where yeah, I mean, for every hardcore Trumper over there, you know, there's a soccer mom to cancel that person out. So um, in 08, pretty much 50-50. Um, they went pretty hard for Obama in 2012. Uh, 891 votes to 641 votes for uh, Romney, which is a little bit surprising to me. Uh, you know, it seemed like that would be a little more Romney territory over there, but they liked Obama, so there's definitely some Democrats over there. But then they went hard for Trump in 16. He won that by almost 300 votes. He had 995 votes in the Exeter 8 and 16. Now he has 361 votes. The grand total of votes is 1,036. There's 2,200 people over in that uh, district. So what happened? Where are the Trump votes? Where did they go? You know, I call bullshit. There's no way in the world that those people didn't vote. They did vote. Now, uh, you know, it seems to me 660 Biden votes here, it seems to me that they have a lot of Biden votes in the pocket. It seems to me most of the missing votes are Trump votes. I don't know if somebody hit a wrong button. Um, I'm a little surprised that this is even on the uh, Berks County website, that this was reported to the state, because this strikes me as just clear air that, you know, I was always under the impression somebody checks this stuff, that somebody, you know, has some wherewithal to recognize the numbers that are being reported, like someone over there at Exeter 8. I mean, somebody counts these numbers and says, oh, well, these are our numbers. Well, let's report them. And nobody looks at them and goes, does this seem right to you that we have half the number of people that we had before? Does this anyone seem strange? But I guess they just, you know, whatever the machine spits out, I guess they just uh, blindly accept it unless it's, you know, a nefarious deal. Uh, and the same deal with, with the county. You know, I would think somebody in there at the county has some idea of what's normal and what's outside the boundaries where they look at it and go, this seems weird. You know, it, 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 all these people voting, yet this one precinct it, it has this way low turnout. What's wrong? But, you know, so I don't know what the mistake is. I know it, I, I don't think anyone's, identified it, you know, you're getting it from me first, you know, <laughs> no one else is talking about this. That's potentially 500 votes there, give or take a couple hundred, or give or take a hundred votes, I would say. It, it, Trump won that precinct by 296 votes in 2016. Now he's lost it by 299 votes. That's a swing of almost 600 votes. 
Now, I'll say this. These are the type of precincts where Trump did worse this cycle. Exeter 8, I don't think he did that much worse. Bullshit. Why is that turnout so low? I mean, that number should be up in the 70s. There's no way that happened. Now, here's a second example. It's a why I'm missing. That's how you pronounce that. Why I'm missing five. I'm going to say this is a little more urban than Exeter 8. It's over there on the other side of State Hill Road opposite the Berkshire Mall. A lot of uh, just uh, small little, I don't say small, but your uh, suburban postage stamp type houses, uh, older houses, not too many McMansions back in that area. I think there are definitely a couple McMansions in Exeter 8. Why I'm missing five is a little older, more established uh, neighborhood. But again, your your turnout numbers, 08, 78.8, 12, 77.9, 16, 77.9, 55.1. Yeah, again, this is, uh, uh, let's see, an 08 slightly went to McCain to McCain, who carried almost nothing. This one went slightly to McCain. Uh, went strongly to Romney in 12. Uh, went a little bit less strongly for Trump in 16. Now, in 20, uh, he loses by 222 votes. Uh, 639 to 417, 1,084 votes. Uh, again, this is upwards of 1,800, 1,900 people in it. Uh, where do votes go? I mean, there's no way these giant drop-offs in turnout make any sense at all. None. None. I'll give you an example of something that may be an explanation for a, a huge drop in turnout. Uh, there's a township, or I should say a precinct uh, township, Maxitawney. Uh, Maxitani 3 uh, had a huge drop in turnout this cycle. Huge drop. Well, I wrote that off. I, I could explain that one. Uh, uh, that township surrounds Kutztown University. I think that township has a ton of student housing. I don't think the students are uh, in large part on campus in this uh, uh, pandemic cycle. So that's where I wrote that off. In other words, that makes sense to me that, look, all these kids usually vote in that, that precinct. They're not there this year. They're not there. They're not in school. So all those uh, apartments are empty. That's how I explained that. I have no explanation for these two. Now, maybe somebody can explain it to me. Maybe somebody at the Berks County election uh, a board can say, oh, yeah, that makes sense because this or that. I don't think so, man. I doubt it. Um, so, you know, what's, what is the bottom line here? Um, I think there's potentially, oh, I'm going to say five, 600 Trump votes that are missing. Uh, you know, well, what's that matter? You know, that's not going to turn the tide. He's down 40, 50,000. Yeah, but it, to me, it's an indicator. You know, this is just one county. You know, Berks County isn't even the biggest county in the state. It's top 10, probably. Uh, but uh, this is just what I found uh, sitting in my chair uh, on the computer. Who knows what's really out there? Uh, to me, this is just more ammunition for Trump's lawsuit saying, I want to count these votes. I want proof that I've lost. You know, for me... I've had enough. I've heard enough. Let's put it that way. Um, observers being denied watching the votes being counted improperly. They're supposed to be allowed to observe all these counts. And uh, I've heard, I think the proof is pretty compelling to me that in Philadelphia and Detroit, not allowed to happen. So right there, you're like, well, okay, you just violated the rules, so why? Uh, why did that happen? Wisconsin, you have ridiculous turnout numbers up there. 
upwards of 90, 95%. Precincts that typically generate 60. Um, up in Wisconsin, you have people correcting ballots, uh, even though the statute says explicitly that you're not supposed to do that. There apparently was uh, some kind of directive from the state of Wisconsin, from the executive branch of Wisconsin to the poll people saying, oh, if you get a ballot and it doesn't have the address of the person who witnessed it, just fill it in. It's cool. The uh, statute explicitly says that's not cool. So, you know, that violates the rules. Uh, uh, at any rate, I mean, I've seen enough that I don't trust these counts. I have a remedy. I have a remedy. Uh, it came to me the other day. I thought, oh, let's just do it this way. Everybody says count the votes. All right, let's count the votes. Let's do it. I figure you got six. Is that what it would be? Six disputed states. Uh, what? Arizona, Georgia, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. I figured that's about 30 million votes. Well, let's just count them. All of them. Every one of them. We'll have the Trump team do it. We'll have the Biden team do it. Probably you could get it done in a week and a half. Um, the Trump team gets access to all the Philadelphia votes, all the Atlanta votes, all the Detroit votes. Biden team can come into the reddest of red counties. They can look at our votes. The votes are basically a set of evidence, which should have supporting documentation with it as far as uh, the machine is set up in this way. Here is the sequence of votes as they came into the polling place. Here is a stack of paper ballots that were sent in via the mail. All should be able to be examined. Now, I know the Democrats don't mean that when they say we want the votes counted. They mean they want to count the votes and I'm supposed to just accept their number. You know, that's what they mean. They don't want me counting their votes. That would be crazy talk. But I don't see any other way because I don't trust these numbers. That's wrong. You know, and I'm being asked by the Berks County uh, Board of Elections to accept that number. That's wrong. That is not a correct number. They're going to have to prove that to me that that's correct. Uh, you know, what is my you know, punishment to them if I don't get to count all the votes? Well, I simply don't recognize their president. That's all. That's all I can do. You know, I can't uh, make a citizen's arrest of Joe Biden. Uh, I wonder how far I would get. Uh, but, it, it, you know, that's all I can do. I have to, I, I'm not going to disobey the laws because I'll get shot. But they don't recognize me as no moral authority over me. He didn't win uh, because they refused to show me the evidence. Show me the evidence. I don't think that's an unreasonable solution. Uh, like I said, the, to me, these kind of errors that are obvious and are public, you know, what's not public? What's in those rooms, on those ballots that I can't see? This is the numbers they're reporting to me, and they're obviously wrong to me. You know, give me an explanation to make sense, but I see no reason that these sudden inexplicable drops in turnout that are matched by no other pre I mean, one other precinct. Was Wyoming, why I'm missing one, the first precinct in Wyoming missing has a similar drop in turnout. I didn't put it up there just because I'm out of space, but so three of them, Exeter 8, why I'm missing five, why I'm missing one. You can look those up for yourself in Berks County and uh, hey, put it in the comments if you can see an explanation why well, I think you made a mistake, and this, this is why that number's so low this year. It, it, it's very possible. I didn't think of something, uh, but I think I'm right. Uh, so anyway, uh, that's what I found. Like I said, my remedy is let's count all the votes. It, it, if you count all the votes the way I want to do it, then if Trump loses, he loses. Then I can actually say, okay, we lost. Joe Biden he won the election. There were way more soccer moms than Trump people, and that's just how it rolls. Uh, then Joe Biden, when he says, let's unite behind me, then I might consider saying, okay, all right, you won fair and square. Now, 
This guy says, unite behind me. Now, screw you. Go screw yourself, asshole. I mean, this is a guy that hasn't taken one question from any Trump person or Trump media. He's just given us the finger, and now he says, you need to unite behind me. I don't need to do dick. You proved to me that you won. We'll start there. And then I might consider maybe we'll unite behind the Democrats. Uh, but that's what I found. You know, like I said, missing Trump votes. Where are they? Explain to me what happened there in Berks County because I can't explain it. All right, that's what we got for the politics barn. Um, I don't know when the next episode will be. Um, like I said, I think, I think, uh, I, I, like I said, I didn't say this. Um, where I think it might take this channel is uh, after we uh, litigate this election cycle, or as we litigate it. I think we're going to try to build a coalition here of not communists. The uncommunists. Uh, there's some real dangerous people running around right now, and I'm not sure everybody appreciates it. Uh, and I think it's important that tr we try to build some bridges here to understand what's at stake, so we don't end up getting, um, you know, just out and out socialists and/or communists being elected in this country down the road because. People don't even know what that means or what they're in for. So that's kind of where I'm thinking of going here, trying to put together a 60% coalition of people that it's like, all right, maybe we could, uh, I'll trade this for that, and we'll meet in the middle, all with the same understanding that we don't like communism. <laughs> because right now, it seems like, the right and the left hate each other so much, and the winners are these people way over there on the left of the left that are sneaking in, mostly uh, uh, under a Trojan horse, and uh, the rest of us are kind of going, how'd that happen? You know, you know, I got Kamala Harris right now as the potential vice president. Uh, she's basically a communist, and how'd that happen? I, you know, there she is, though. You know, she'll probably end up being the president unless some miracle happens that Joe Biden lasts four years. Uh, so uh, I think that's where I'm thinking of taking the channel. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this episode. I think, uh, I think I thought it was important. You tell me uh, if you agree. And... I will talk to you again. Thank you. All the, again, all the people here that watch these videos, I'm very flattered, especially the political videos. I never thought anyone would want to hear me talk about politics. So uh, very flattered anybody watching the video. Um, hey, if I'm wrong, Democrats, don't downvote me. Please tell me where I'm wrong, you know. Be, hey, those could be Biden votes that are missing. You know, they very well could be. I don't think they are because the math doesn't work out. But um, so what do you know? You know, it's, uh, let's have some uh, fair counting of these uh, votes, if we will. Thanks, and I'll talk to you again.